So I love the Vinnie Vincent invasion as millions of other people do all around the world, especially people that I've come into contact with many years after the fall of the Berlin Wall, the tearing down of the Iron Curtain, when President Reagan said to President Gorbachev, tear down this wall. There were countless people trying to scale the Berlin Wall, tunnel under it, and all they wanted to do, and I'm not embellishing, guys. I know that a lot of you think that I am. I'm not. All they were trying to do was get to the free world and buy a copy of the Invasion Record, 1986. And many of them got through, you know, when the wall came down in 89. And much to their chagrin, they came to realize that the invasion had broken up. And a lot of them turned back. They said, we're going back to the Eastern Bloc. What's there for us here? So that's how popular the Vinnie Vincent invasion was and is. And so you can imagine my astonishment when I've been going to the gym and I want to listen to, you know, Hysteria or, you know, um, any of the many songs by the No Substitute, you know what I mean, Animal, um, just so so many songs. I mean, you know, you, you know, they got the Freddy Krueger, the, the Nightmare on Elm Street soundtrack, and. Um, Love Kills. I mean, they just have so many hits. I could be here all afternoon talking about the two Invasion records and the iconic guitar playing of Vinnie Vincent, the amazing vocals of Robert Fleischman and that other guy too, and the bass playing of Dana Strum and, uh, of course, Bobby Rock, who's a drum god. The Invasion had it all. And that other guy was pretty good too. I don't remember his name, but that other guy was okay. But the thing is, though, is that The Invasion is no longer on Spotify. I mean, you can go there and you can buy merch but you can't listen to the classics. You can't listen to the first two records from The Invasion, and you can't listen to the Euphoria record, which is supposed to come out sometime in 2023. Uh, it was supposed to come out, out, I believe, in 1993, and it's been delayed a little bit, but it will be coming out, all systems go, Euphoria, uh, Guitar Mageddon. I'm not sure what it's going to be called. The box set is coming out, and Vinny's doing all these meet and greets in Tennessee, and they're very, very limited audiences, usually like 50 people at SIR Studios. Uh, because of the fact that, you know, you know, he would play arenas and that sort of thing. But I think he just wants more of the intimate setting. You know, Vinny is probably one of the most iconic guitar players that ever, you know, walked this earth. He saved Kiss. I mean, we know that now. It's been scientifically proven uh, by doctors all over, like scientists in Kazakhstan and Morocco and also in Senegal. And the thing is, is that it's been proven that Vinny Vincent saved Kiss. His contributions to Creatures of the Night, come on, you you know, just complete game changer. And he wrote eight out of the ten songs on Lick It Up, which went platinum when Kiss couldn't sell out the Holiday Inn. Uh, they had a platinum record, thanks to Vinnie Vincent. And then he came back and saved them after horrendous records. Hot in the Shade was just a terrible record. Uh, you know, if they would have played that record, you know, I, I don't even want to say that that's the kind of record you'd want to drive a car off a cliff to. I mean, it's just a really bad record. And so he came in for revenge and he helped them again. And he saved Kiss not once, but twice. So again, um, I think what probably happened was so many people were streaming the Invasion's records that Spotify servers probably crashed. And they said, you know what? We're just going to go ahead and I don't know if he pulled it off. I don't know if Capitol Records pulled it off. Maybe they're going to remaster those two Invasion records. Uh, that's very possible. Uh, there was a great interview that uh, Robert Fleischman did with, I believe his name was Sarnier or something like that. Really, really good interview. No longer available. Um, and this gentleman also did an interview with uh, uh, Andre, uh, Andre Leduc or Andre something like that, who was the last drummer of the Invasion. And those interviews are not available anymore, unfortunately. But um, he did talk about Capitol Records taking him out to a really nice lunch and them wanting to remaster those records. And that other guy was saying, you know, those records are old. Like, why even bother with them? Well, why bother with them? It's because Robert Fleischman sang so much better than that other guy. You know what I mean? The second record was not as good as the first record, but you still got Vinny's iconic guitar playing you know, working the fretboard, playing rhythm and lead simultaneously while still rocking a mean rock and roll attitude. Dana playing the bass pretty well and Bobby Rock, come on, Bobby Rock's a freaking legend. Bobby Rock and Vinnie Vincent, legends. Dana, I mean, yeah, he's all right. And then that other guy whose name escapes me right now, you know, he was, he was okay. But Robert Fleischman, you got Robert Fleischman, Dana, uh, Bobby and Vinnie, that would have taken over the world. 
So much so that you had people trying to scale the walls of the Berlin Wall. You know, you had gun towers, barbed wire, German shepherd dogs, and these people were adamant that they were gonna get to the other side. They were gonna get to a record store. They had just sold uh, their Yugos and uh, they had enough money in their pocket because the Yugos and the Ladas were their most valuable when they had a full tank of gas because that's how bad those cars were. But they sold those cars and they told their friends and family, sometimes even telling their wives and young children, I'll be back. I've got to make it to the other side. I've got to listen to Boys Are Gonna Rock live. So you can imagine when they made it to the other side and the invasion isn't even together anymore. Uh, it just, it was devastating for them. Devastating. So, and it's devastating for me because, you know, I have Spotify premium and I want to listen to the invasion while I'm lifting weights and uh, doing cardio. And sometimes I want to listen to the invasion when life, you know, gives me a bad hand. I want to be able to, you know, listen to All Systems Go, maybe, but more so the self-titled album, the first album. All Systems Go is okay. I mean, it gets you by, you know what I mean? You just try to like, you know, if, if you can, what, what I would like to do with All Systems Go is I would like to strip the audio from that other guy and somehow either make it an instrumental record or, or somehow maybe Robert Fleischman could redo the vocals. I don't know, but um, that other guy's okay. But I'm just saying um, the first record, you know, it's just, it's just, it's, it's magic. It's just absolute magic. And you just pinch yourself sometimes because you just can't believe that you're actually being able to witness that greatness. And, and, and you can play it all you want, but you used to be able to play it all you want because now the invasion is no longer on Spotify. So if you guys have like iTunes or if you have, um, what's the other one, SoundCloud or Pandora or whatever, let me know in the comments if the invasion is still available because I'll cancel Spotify in a half second and join whatever streaming service I can because I love the invasion and I, I, I'm having withdrawals. I'm having withdrawals, having to listen to garbage like Kiss and Motley Crue. I want to listen to the Vinnie Vincent Invasion. So again, if you guys have the 411 on the VVI, please leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching Sight Sounds Flavors here on YouTube, sightsoundsflavors.com. If you like this video at any point in time, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps. Also, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of the groundbreaking, iconic, life-changing videos that I release. And also, please leave a comment down below. And if you don't love the Vinnie Vincent Invasion, why on earth not?